If it's in your newsfeed, it's in the feed with Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. Of all the reasons to get kicked out of a uh, baseball game, Dollar hot dog night at City Field in New York. That's where the Mets play. The Mets are a terrible organization and team. They just are haunted for whatever reason. That's why a major league franchise having dollar hot dog night. Can't mm-hmm. find that many places. Well, the Mets fan was removed after he started throwing hot dogs. Uh, others started throwing hot dogs at this guy. He was eating a lot of hot dogs. He had a tally of how many hot dogs he had eaten. He had drank 10 beers and ate nine hot dogs and the people were throwing hot dogs at him to eat more. Uh And they were like, you're just too much of a distraction. You got to go. Well, I mean, if you if you want it to be more of a distraction, like, how about you get the team to be mm-hmm. good? People watch the game. Yeah, and not the guy eating the hot dogs. Wow. More entertaining than, yeah, uh, than sure. Mets baseball sometimes, for, for sure. Uh, would you like to know exactly when you'll die? Uh, I go back and forth. I don't, honest, I, I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. This I feel is like a- I'd get a lot more done. <laughs> There we go. Okay, cool. I got 12 more years. Mm-hmm. Let's let's do it. You know mm-hmm. what? I'm, I'm not mowing the lawn. I got <laughs> yeah. other things to do. Uh, U.S. and Danish scientists have created an accurate artificial intelligence death calculator called Life the Number Two VEC. Life to VEC. I don't know what that means, hmm. but VEC probably means death. Uh, it uses chat GPT technology to predict when people will die based on select details from their lives. Do you smoke? Do you drink? Mm-hmm. How much do you drink? What do you drink? All right, hey, meth? Sound like a good idea? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then it gets information about your income, your career, your place of residence, health history, and then boom, you get your prediction. They say it's 78 or so percent accurate. I could see that. Out. Those are all like the the uh, natural causes. They're not talking murder there. No, They're no not, murder. not predicting the future. Uh, just... One of the questions should be, do, does your spouse listen to true crime podcasts? <laughs> yes, it should be. And then be. you just get shaved down 20 years mm-hmm. immediately. Yes. Uh, there, uh, here's the one thing, though. They don't have this online. And there are a bunch of things online that's saying, hey, we're life to back. And they're saying right. none of them are real. Don't use them because what they are doing is they're trying to steal your information. Oh, wow. Because you're giving them all this data. All the stuff. Bad news, right? Uh, Speaking of getting scammed online, a 76-year-old woman from England recently thought she was talking to Robert De Niro online. Bobby. Bobby. Uh, Her granddaughter quickly caught up to the scam. The imposter tried to sell the granny a VIP fan card for $500. Yes, because... Robert De Niro's online personally selling oh my God. $500 <laughs> right. fan cards. Gosh. Goodness gracious. You really does. Like, I'll give you the old, you know, the old pass for a certain, but like, there's also a certain point where it's like, you just aren't thinking. Mm-hmm. You're not using your brain. Yeah. Like, if, if a guy walking up to you said, I am Robert De Niro, give me $500 and I'll, you'd be a VIP fan, you'd be like, no. Why mm-hmm. would this be any different? He also promised video chats in a visit if he if uh, she'd do it. The savvy granddaughter intervened, saved the grandma from sending the money and the personal info and all that stuff. Awesome. Wow. Everyone needs a granddaughter. Oklahoma chiropractor recently treated a giraffe named Jerry who had a chewing problem. The doctor adjusted Jerry's neck. I have watched this when chiropractors give giraffes and horses adjustments. Oh my wow. gosh. Dogs. This doctor also treats lions and chickens. You oh want to give gosh. a lion? <laughs> no, thank uh, you. <laughs> all right, just breathe and boom. Oh <laughs> and then the God. lion's going to be like, like yeah. uh, I'm going to eat you. Right. <laughs> no, right. absolutely not. Uh, the U.S. Department of Transportation, they just announced a new rule that's going to require automakers to implement new safety features in your new car by 2029. So they did this back in the day with the uh, the backup cameras. They weren't required, I think, till 2016. And all of a sudden, you had to have a backup camera in your car. Mm-hmm. It's required now. Mm-hmm. And I think that helps us avoid certain accidents. It also stops people from looking at their mirrors. I, yeah, you know what? I don't, I go back and forth. I'm definitely, I, I rely on it a lot, but I keep telling Jaden, who is learning how to drive right now, yes, you can just keep looking at the screen, but look around you too. Yeah. Because if they yeah. just look at the screen, it's dire- directly what's behind you you most cars you're not seeing what's on the side yeah. so it i think people rely on the camera too much now where it's like look around too this look is around. this is stuff that like all right so they have the automatic emergency braking like if you're at a slow speed situation and all of a sudden it thinks like oh goodness i'm about to hit it'll hit the brakes for you mm-hmm. it want they want that to be on high speed stuff so if you're going wow. up to 90 miles an hour and if the car senses their crash is imminent, it'll hit the brakes for you to avoid the crash. Wow. It must be able to detect pedestrians in nighttime and in dark wow. and in light. 
be able to stop and avoid the hit the car in front of you up to 62 miles an hour. Pretty cool. Uh, it's worth noting, 42,514 people died last year in car crashes, which is down 3.6% from the year prior, but it's the third year in a row oh. over 40,000. So oh. it's just, it's an epidemic and they're trying to get that. Obviously it's going to make the cars more expensive, but like, mm -hmm. you know, it probably hopefully make the insurance less expensive because less yeah. things happen. Yeah. Finally, well, Florida High School Athletic Association is considering recognizing a certain thing as a new school sport, video gaming. Mm -hmm. I think this is brilliant. Mm -hmm. Recent survey showed 50% of Florida high schools are interested in joining state-sanctioned video game sports leagues. Critics argue whether esports should be recognized as a sport. Here's the deal. You don't have to mow any lawns. You don't have to, you know, uh, get um, any uh, real equipment other than an Xbox or a, a PC. Why not? Yeah, there's a lot of these gamers that are making a far much more money than you and I put together. You know, it's they're making a ton of money. They're definitely... And they're not going to school. They're literally just practicing. Yeah. I suggest going outside every once in a while, get some sun. But, sure. but, but I know think what, it's though? a good idea. Get them involved in some sort of team something. Mm -hmm. This is good. If you're somebody that's more inclined to play video games than play football, say, mm -hmm. here's a great way to do it. And to start uh, to start one in a high school does not cost much money. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Yeah. You, you want to join the football team? Join Madden. The Madden <laughs> football <laughs> there team. There you go.